Well, welcome to a new series uh, of uh, survival mode in Minecraft, but using the computer craft or as it's now known CC tweaked mod. So this is a Java only edition and uh, it currently runs in uh, 1.16.2 because it hasn't quite been adjusted for 1.16.3 just yet. So at the time of recording this is the latest version of Minecraft. So I've chosen, I'm in, currently in creative mode just to show you what's doing. I've chosen this particular world. There's a village over there which I shall use for trading. And of course if you're going to be trading you need plenty of uh, crops of various kinds, timber and of course mining supplies. So I've discovered this fairly large open area which will be my starting point with the intention of keeping as far away from the uh, village as possible so that uh, it doesn't get uh, invaded by zombies and the inhabitants get screwed so uh, I'll just take a landing here and I'll make a start in survival mode uh, in order to get down and uh, obtain some diamonds in the the usual fashion um, and then uh, I'll be showing you everything that is created with the uh, turtles to help you survive um, and uh, we'll be showing you how they're made and uh, what they do as we go along with each stage so that's just a brief introduction I'll now come down to land and I'll make a pastiche of the kind of things that the turtles can provide as the last thing you want to see is a survival mode bashing trees So we've now got uh, turtles in a number of different tree farms. You can hear them and see them in action here. So this one is currently farming jungle wood. So each uh, turtle is in charge of 21 trees. So once it's uh, cut down all the trees, it replants the saplings on the blocks here excess saplings drop into the water and are collected by the turtle from the chest below and the timber that's collected is stored in here. We've also got uh, crop farms over here. So over the first one is a single unit here which one has a tree in the lower left corner for the first one there are seeds and saplings over here you've got uh, crops and they're planted around here there's no turtle currently operating this one but uh, there's normally one sitting there monitoring the farm 24 7 and that will uh, farm when it's all ripe uh, if there are extensions as there are in this case we've got another module over here which has not yet been planted it will plant that one and look after it. Here we've got a quadruple unit so this is the base farm here and then there's an extension to the right to the front and over here so again a single turtle in this position here would farm this entire one here and finally you've got a triple one so you've got a, a working turtle here let me just see if that one is active Yes, it's waiting for the uh, crops to grow here, so we'll just kick that off so that that will start up. There we are, that's off it's going now. So it's now going to farm this one, and it will replace this crop, the same crop as it farms. If the soil below is empty, it'll pick um, randomly from whatever it happens to have in its inventory to replant. Anything that's not ripe is left behind. And it'll then drop each module each uh, one of these farms into its own set of chests here then move on to the neighboring one here the single chest here marks this one as an extension so that once the turtle is finished here it'll spot the chest and realize that there is another farm over here and it'll go and do that one and then return back to its uh, starting point here 
So these are the tree and uh, crop farms that are completely controlled by the turtle. It also builds them in the first place. So all you have to do is supply it with the materials and it will build itself. Over here the turtles can protect uh, villages by digging a two wide by two deep ditch around uh, the edge of the village. It will just follow the terrain uh, automatically until you tell it to stop and uh, then you can direct it in a different direction to continue elsewhere which helps to protect your village from marauders. Then over here we're heading now for a monument which has been uh, discovered. Uh, turtles have already been working on this one. What they've done so far is to build a cobble wall around the monument. If I drop down into the water you'll see that this wall continues right the way around to the ocean floor and that's already started to cut down the monument here. Um, on earlier versions of Minecraft that didn't have the sea grass and sea weeds it was possible to fill this with sand and then uh, drain it completely. It's, it's still just possible but it's much more difficult. This one is currently in the process of being drained layer by layer so that uh, you can cut off all the water by uh, filling up the source blocks with uh, a block like cobble and then breaking it again in, in rows and that will allow you to gradually uh, reduce the uh, water level but it, again it takes a lot of time and a lot of fuel but this will show you how you can break uh, monuments. There's uh, another one if I can remember where it is. So this is an example of uh, using turtles to drain uh, a shipwreck. So similar to the monument that was shown earlier, this one built, the turtles build a, a cobble wall from uh, sea floor to the surface. They then go round and uh, destroy any seaweed to stop uh, um, sand from breaking when you drop it. Uh, then once the seaweed's all gone, the turtles uh, drop sand until it fills at least two rows across uh, and then the sand is removed and you can expose uh, uh, something like this so that it only needs some minor finishing off by hand. Uh, this was just an experimental area that I was working on. So the turtles are currently inactive here just waiting to be shown what to do. Uh, we'll now move on to uh, some other things that turtles can do. This canal that you can see below you was built by a pair of turtles running next to each other. They build the canal floor walls and fill it with water as they go so that you can uh, run the canals either as you see here in the air or indeed at uh, ground level which makes a convenient uh, system using boats to get yourself uh, around. Just heading back to the tree farms because the chunks were unloaded the turtles will have um, probably stopped working but they should now be finding where they were when they finished uh, and the chunk was unloaded and they should be starting again. We, yeah, we seem to be all operating normally so they're either waiting to start or this one's just gone and got its saplings. Let's see what it's up to. So I'll click on it. Okay, so this program is just restarting. So it's checking now to see whether the saplings have grown and if they haven't grown 
it'll plant them and if they've been planted it'll then fell the trees. Yep, that seems to be working perfectly. So we'll leave that one to it and uh, see what else there is to uh, examine. So just descending into one of the uh, first mines that uh, was constructed, the turtle dug this uh, ladder all the way down to bedrock. Uh, I would have done the first mining to find my first three diamonds on a normal manual method. And as soon as I've got three diamonds, then the rest is done by the, uh, the first turtle that's made. So we're here at bedrock, and this is the design that the turtles cut into. Uh, they do a 32 by 32 square, and they check what's above, what's below, and then so we're actually effectively looking at um, three layers at a time, so that anything of value is removed in this area, and then once you've extended it. Uh, that way you can then reset the turtle back down here and it'll do another 32 by 32 area here. Repeat it on the other side. So I normally do this with six turtles running at once so that they cut um, the first three diamond bearing layers from the ground cutting these mines at the same time, typically from six turtles cutting this 32 by 32 square, all of them at the same time, takes approximately an hour in real time and harvests typically around 30 to 40 diamonds, so it's uh, definitely well worth uh, doing. So that will sort that out. The same pattern can be used in the nether for finding uh, ancient debris uh, using this uh, exactly same pattern. Uh, you can even use the uh, wooden ladders here. So the next question you're going to be asking well, is what are all these turtles anyway? So these, this is a turtle. It's part of the CC Tweaked uh, or as it was computer craft. It's uh, a robot basically. It can move in any direction. It's um, it can go through water and lava, um, it can't be blown up by creepers and you can give it various tools. So this one's got a, a diamond pickaxe which does not wear down. So the great advantage of once you've made a turtle is that that, that tool will last forever. This side is a crafting bench and to use the turtle you just right click on it and that will open up this um, uh, sort of interface here where you can um, uh, run a load of, of programs that are there. Or, of course, the reason for doing all this is that you can create your own. So it uses a, a language called Lua, uh, and uh, it's very easy to program with Lua. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube uh, for it. So uh, the ones that you saw acting were one which uh, I've created a whole suite of programs which are currently on my uh, paste bin. So let's put that up for you. So this is my paste bin account. Uh, so uh, uh, ink saver my username and uh, I'll put all these links in the description down below. But that one there is the one that gets you all the tools by you can actually run that directly inside by using paste bin run inside your turtle. I'll just copy that. Paste it in here. Oh, let's get rid of that first. Hold on there, we don't need that. Um, I won't actually run this because I've already downloaded the files, but that will actually get all the files that you need. So if I delete that, and then we do a, a list, which is ls, that will list the files that are in there. So most of those are downloaded by there. So some of these are quite simple. For example, you've got f.lua, which is forward.lua. So if you wanted to control the turtle and make it go forward, you could just put f5 
and that will go forward five. So if I press the enter key and release it at the same time by pressing escape, you'll see it goes forward five. Now if we go forward just one more, just one F there, and then we can turn left or right. So if I go left, we're now turned left. Now if I go forward and try and go forward three times, it'll hit the block. So if we go forward three, it hits the block and then it says movement obstructed. So it couldn't go. But what we have got is forward three and then anything you put in afterwards. I've just put D short for dig. That will then break whatever blocks in front. So there we are. So it's gone forward three. So those are the very simplest commands. You've got forward, left, right, um, backward, up, down, however many times you want to do it. And then the ones that do all the stuff over here is a toolkit, which is TK. So if you run TK by just pressing it uh, like that, and this gives you an option. So you've got mining tools, forestry farming, um, obsidian and nether, etc, etc. So the ones that you'll see running over here at the moment are the forestry ones. So if we hit it 2, then it gives you a sub menu and you can break, uh, you can cut down trees or you can create tree farms or the auto tree farm which you see running over the back here. If you've made a mistake, just type Q and it will take you back to that. Uh, so that's how it works. Lure itself, let me show you that. OK, this is the TK toolkit so it's this one's just over 5,000 lines long and it runs with a turtle class which is another I think about another 3,000 lines so it's fairly comprehensive but uh, this is all available for you to to make use of but the I encourage you to uh, to actually do this stuff yourself it is uh, it's great fun so that's what turtles are all about and uh, that's what we'll be using in this series. I'll be going through each of the options on here um, and showing you how we can make the best of them. So uh, uh, once I've got down to the uh, ground and got three diamonds in uh, in, uh, com uh, in survival mode, then we'll come and I'll show you then how we make the first turtle, uh, how we load the programs into it and how we actually use this and we will then create We'll go down to the bedrock, create mines, and uh, you'll see that how that all works. So it should be great fun, and uh, I think you'll learn a lot from it.